Hey friends, welcome back for our Nether Read Aloud Club book reading. We're back in the outdoor studio for Imagination Library, Middle Tennessee. And today we have two really special guests. So before I bring them out, I just want to remind you that if you are not enrolled in Imagination Library, you can go on to United Way Greater Nashville's website and enroll your child today. All right, let's not wait any longer and bring out our special guest. Today, I would like to introduce to you Officer Edwards and his canine officer, Axel. Come on out. How's it going? It's good. How are you? So tell me a little bit about you and why you love your job, and then we want to hear all about Axel. Well, I'm Officer Edwards. I've been with Springfield. Uh, November will be two years. Before that, I was a state trooper. Uh, I love doing what I do just to try to make community better, especially with having him in my back seat every day. Uh, this is, as you said, canine Axel. He's about four and a half years old. He's from the Netherlands, so he's traveled a long way to get over here. He's been on since last May. We went through our training program, so he's been on for a little over a year now. Right. Are you guys best friends, Officer Edwards? We are. Your best are. friends? I can tell. I can tell. So some of my friends know this exercise. So everybody get out your candle and your flower. Officer Edwards, do you have a candle and a flower? Yes, ma'am, I do. Okay, good. So first, we're going to sniff our flower and then we'll blow out our candle. We're gonna do this three times to regulate our breath and get ready. Are you ready, friends? So sniff the flower and then blow it out. That felt pretty good, let's do it again. Let's sniff our flower, blow out the candle. One more, we'll be ready. Sniff the flower, blow out the candle. Okay, I think we're ready for Officer Buckle and Gloria by Peggy Raffman. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone in Natville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. It's a good one. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Natville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes there was snoring. Afterward, it was business as usual. Mrs. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on the swivel chair, said Officer Buckle, but Miss Topple didn't hear him. Then one day, Natville's police department brought in a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Glory, Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. And Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. She was. What's different about this? This is, this is way better than as usual, isn't it? Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Officer Buckle, Checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had discovered that morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was really surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Natville School. 
Every letter had a drawing of Gloria on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawing showed a lot of imagination. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper, and it said, You and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumb tucking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phone started ringing. Grade schools, high schools, and daycare centers were calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips. And please bring along that police dog. Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, the children sat up and they listened. After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having the buddies. Then one day, a television news team videoed Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during electrical storms, the students jumped to their feet and applauded. That's a really great picture of Gloria. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. Yep. Here's the team at home. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. The next day, the principal of Natville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Topple. Well, how about Gloria? Can she come? Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely. Then she fell asleep, and so did the audience. After Gloria left, Natville School had its biggest accident ever. It all started with a puddle of banana pudding. Splat, splatter, sploosh. Everyone slid smack into Mrs. Topple, who screamed and let go of her hammer. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend Claire. P.S. Don't worry, I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Safety tip number 101. Always stick with your buddy. The Did you guys like that book? That was good. Officer Edwards, what would be your safety tip to everybody watching the Read Out Loud today? You always need to wear your seatbelt because that could be the number one thing that keeps you up, keeps you going. That's a good one. I love that. What are you and Axel going to do the rest of the afternoon? Uh, I'm going to take him home, maybe throw a little ball to him for a little while, get him worn out a little bit. He's, he's got too much energy. That sounds it's hard to keep awesome. up with him. Yeah. Axel and Officer Edwards, thank you for being here today. We really enjoyed having you at Storytime. All right, guys, one last thing before we go. Let's give yourselves a big hug because you read. You read your time today, 20 minutes a day. We've all read, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for joining us.